Hello guys, we are back with our next set of video lectures. In this series, we are going to start the second unit of distributed system, guys. So in this unit, we will be covering the concepts of naming, synchronization, and consistency and replication, guys. So initially, we will be starting with naming, and in this lecture, we will be discussing about names, identifiers, and addresses, guys. Guys, these are the three important terminology which you should have a hundred percent clarity because any time you can expect a question for at least on these definitions for two marks, guys. Okay. Okay, sorry for that. Okay, so name a name in a distributed system is a string of bits or characters that is used to refer as an entity. So basically, name is something given to a particular thing. So that thing we call it as an entity, guys. So your question will be, okay, now what is this entity? Now you are saying entity, entity. So entity is a something which has a particular task, guys. Okay, so I'll be just explaining you. Don't worry. So an entity in a distributed system can be practically anything like host, printer, disk, files, web pages, etc. Okay, so name is some name is a thing which is given to an entity, and entity is nothing but anything. It could be a host, IP address, or anything. It could be, guys. Okay, okay. So to operate on entity on on an entity. it is necessary to access it so basically if you want to use printer you should access it right first of all so that access for which we need an access point guys so if this is an printer you need a wire to connect it to your laptop or to your system right so this wire you can say it as an access point so that through that you are connecting it okay so an access point is a special kind of entity in a distributed system to access a resource to access it you will be using this access point and this access point will have a particular address so that is called as address guys so name of the access point is nothing but address okay so now i think everyone is a bit clear with the terminology okay so now let us take a small example so a telephone can be used as an access point of a person so basically a person can access it at a use it so where the telephone number is correspondent as an address so telephone number will be re with respect to a particular guy right so that is the reason why it is called as an address okay so now you will be having a doctor okay so now i got a small idea about a name so let us recall so name is nothing but given to an entity and entity is a anything it could be a printer or any kind of device and address is nothing but this entity to access it we will be using an access point and that access point is nothing but the address okay so now you are left out with this identifier so in simple words identifier refers to a unique entity guys so identifier refers to at most one entity and each entity refers to at most one identifier so identifier can never be reused it is always unique okay yes so now i hope everyone got a clear idea about the three terminologies identifier entity sorry identifier address and name right yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea so in the next lecture we will be discussing about flat naming okay so in the naming we are having three different things guys like flat naming structured naming and unstructured naming okay so in the next lecture we will be discussing about flat naming that is nothing but unstructured naming so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching